Good morning. It's 8 a.m. Um, doing much better. Pain is still there. It's discomfort, but it's not really sharp and it's not prevailing. And the hardest part is the gas now. I just constantly feel the bubbles rolling. Um, they came in. They took more blood. They undressed my wound. Um, they did palpate and press on it a little bit to make sure that it isn't hard because if it's hard, I think that means like there's something wrong with like the blood healing. So we'll see how it goes. I did have a hard time sleeping last night. Um, I didn't really pass out till about 2 a.m. around 1.30. I beat my nurse to let them know that. I was having trouble sleeping, so they came in and brought me um, a Benadryl drip, and I was out right after that, thank goodness, because I started to feel like I was going to have a panic attack from the discomfort. Like, I'm not home, I'm uncomfortable, I can't really turn over, and I just started getting really panicky, so I'm glad that they came in and gave me Benadryl drip, because it's helped, and I'm trying to get some more rest now. Cats are free. It was kind of discomfort taking it out, but I'm just a baby and very sensitive. But it's out, and I just got a little bit more pain meds, uh, my first oral Tylenol, and I should be walking soon, she said. Go home. So they brought me some breakfast. Um, I was able to eat a hard-boiled egg and a little bit of the oatmeal, um, some tea and some water. They brought French toast and... I don't do French toast one, but two, it's just way too heavy and dense for my stomach right now. Um, just want a lot of broth, but they say I should start eating solids. And hopefully the egg won't give me too much gas. And I also have a banana here, but I don't know how that'll affect my system either. Less gas, better. So after they took the catheter out, I um, pretty much had to pee like right away. And so that was my first venture out of bed walking to the bathroom really fucking painful my incision was burning um, standing wasn't an issue I didn't think I thought standing was gonna be a big problem but and sitting I thought sitting was gonna be a big problem when I got to the toilet but nope it was the shuffling I had to literally like shuffle my feet so slowly because that incision the scar is burning I'm hoping it'll be a little bit better because if I want to be discharged today, um, I have to do another walk and I'm dreading it. I'm dreading having to go pee again because peeing for the first time, that hurt a lot too. So I'm bearing with the pain. It's not anywhere near as bad as when I first got out of surgery, but it's, it's there. It feels just like having really bad cramps and having a really bad period, so not over that hill yet so so far I've gone pee three times and I just managed to do the last one by myself and I want to cry because it's an amazing feat I can't if you would have seen me this morning to the second time I went with my husband to the third time it's been vast improvements and it's not as painful thank God I'm so grateful um, I spoke to my doctor and I'm going to be able to go home today, so that just makes me so much happier. I get to be in my bed with my husband and my my baby boy, well, my puppy. Thank you for coming with me on this journey and I'll keep you posted with how my healing process is going, but these past two days have been rough, but it's over. 15 fibroids I will never have to live with again. So little man, did you miss mommy? Yeah, you miss mommy when we were away? We missed you, we talked about you every day, we said how much we miss your boy. Can't wait to get back to our little man. Now we got home. Happy family. Love you.